Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Lynn Allure, if you are new here. Hi, hello, welcome. On this channel, we talk a lot about personal finances, making money, saving money, investing money, entrepreneurship, overall just being a better you. So if you enjoy conversations like that, definitely subscribe and join the party. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about recession-proof industries. I don't want this video to be taken the wrong way and I don't want it to be taken as a video of insensitivities. Given the current circumstances of our world right now, I 100% don't wanna overshadow or negate the fact that COVID-19 is very serious and that there are people who are going through physical implications and severe health conditions. I do also want to share some numbers with you guys though. Currently, as I'm filming this, the US has 88,800 reported cases of coronavirus. Also, last week, the unemployment rate has reached an all-time high and unemployment claims soared to 3.3 million last week. So once again, I'm not negating the fact that coronavirus is serious. However, while coronavirus is out of our control, we're doing our parts, we're staying indoors, washing our hands, practicing social distancing, but we still need to take care of the things that are in our control, and that is our personal finances. Whether you're self-employed as an entrepreneur, a business owner, or you are an employee, either way, your personal finances is your responsibility and in your control. So I just wanna provide ideas and motivation for you all, just food for thought. I know that currently there's a lot of uncertainty, like when will outside open again? We don't know. We're all cooked up inside, but what we can do is plan for the future because we know that this is all going to pan over eventually and it does get better there's no way outside is going to be closed forever it's no way it's no way we don't know when outside is going to open again but we know that it will open eventually so when it does you're going to be ready i'm going to be ready we're all going to be ready okay for when outside opens up you might be thinking now is not the time to be thinking about starting a business but but it just might be because some of the largest companies ever were started during recession. Companies like Disney, General Motors, HP, FedEx, Trader Joe's, Microsoft, and so many others. Okay, so let's get into it. Industry number one that is recession proof is the food industry. Now, this is not to be mistaken with the restaurant industry because from my understanding actually it's very common for restaurants to have a very low profit margin unless they're a fast food or chain restaurant um the food industry that is recession proof believe it or not are sweets and treats i have my laptop here because i have some stats for you guys <laughs> It was reported that during the 2008 financial crisis, Cadbury's profits increased by 30% and Nestle's increased by 10.9%. Also, during the Great Depression, Snickers, Tootsie Pops, and Mars Bars were all created and thrived during this time. And the theory behind this is that we use sweets and fast food as comfort during hard times. Cupcakes, comfort food, chocolates, candies, junk food, fast food. We're on quarantine. A lot of people are stacking up on their snacks and they're eating things that they would normally not eat because it's like comfort food is comforting. It's a thing. Emotional eaters, people are going through things emotionally and they use food to comfort themselves. So comfort foods, sweets, treats, that sort of food industry is recession proof. Similar to that though, not comfort food, but grocery stores are recession proof because regardless of the economic state, people still need to eat, they still go to the grocery store. Catering services would also fall under this industry because people are often throwing events and they often need caterers. Okay, so the next industry is cleaning services. Now, although cleaning services would be considered a luxury for residential spaces, it's actually mandatory and a necessity for commercial spaces. Office buildings, retail spaces, classrooms, anywhere public, it is mandatory that they have cleaners come in. Regardless of the country's economic state, cleaning services will always be a necessity in corporate environments. That's one of the bills that regardless of how the company is doing or how the economy is doing, that still needs to be paid and that's an expense that still needs to be incurred because garbage just needs to be taken out. Floors need to be vacuumed. Floors need to be mopped. Lobbies and windows need to be clean at all times. So cleaning services is definitely an industry that is recession proof. The next industry is the beauty industry. So the beauty industry is something that is recession proof. And I said recession proof, not quarantine proof, right? Okay, because right now in quarantine, nobody is beautifying themselves to go 
to the living room. However, when it is a recession, people are still investing in their appearance because when you look good, you feel good, or so most people think. People are constantly investing in the way that they look on cosmetic, on nails, hair, makeup, skin services, eyelash extensions, hair extensions. These are all industries that people often invest in regardless of how full or empty their bank accounts are. The next industry that is recession proof is retail consignment. So there is a large industry in retail consignment, specifically luxury retail consignment. I've heard a lot about people opening up luxury consignment stores because often people want to wear designer, they want to look expensive, but they don't want to pay designer prices. They don't want to pay expensive prices as well. So retail consignment is definitely a huge industry. Not only are they sought after in a recession because people have less funds to spend but they're actually sought after even when the economy is booming and the economy is great because it's become very trendy to wear thrifted items or vintage pieces and such so senior service providers as baby boomers are getting older there's a need for more and more at home care workers as well as senior homes senior citizen homes that's an industry that's always going to be needed just because when people get older they need somewhere to stay and they need people to care for them and because of the circle of life people are constantly getting older they're constantly going to need assistance and unfortunately not every elderly person has someone younger to take care of them and so they need nurses they need senior home facilities they need at home care workers and so that's an industry that is constantly booming and constantly needed because we're always going to have senior citizens you can start your own senior care service or you can buy a franchise if you have the means to. Okay, so the next industry I'm gonna put as an umbrella and that is basically repair services. So that's uh, car repairs, laptop repairs. Things are constantly breaking and when people don't know how to fix it on their own, they've gotta seek out help from others. If you have a vehicle, you need to get from point A to point B and something breaks down, Regardless of how the economy is doing, you're going to have to get that fixed. And so you're going to seek out a mechanic. You're going to seek out someone who knows how to fix what is broken that you need in order to get your day to day tasks complete. So I need my laptop every day. If that breaks down, I need to seek someone who knows how to fix it. My phone breaks down. I need someone who knows how to fix phones because I need my phone on a day to day basis. Same thing with my car. The next industry that is recession proof is the death or funeral service industry. I know, I'm sorry, it sounds morbid, I'm sorry, however, the reality is people die every day. I don't want to spend too much time on this topic because it's super morbid, but the facts are bad. The funeral service industry is a very lucrative industry. If you can get into that industry and be fair with people when you are dealing with them at their most vulnerable time, then I would suggest you get into this industry, but I've seen some documentaries on funeral service providers and how they kind of exploit or take advantage of people when they're at their lowest so if you feel like you would be very money hungry and not be able to be ethical in this industry then i don't know if it's for you but then again i'm not your career advisor do as you please i'm just here to deliver the news and tell you that that is an industry that is recession proof but i think if you have a good heart then you you should definitely go into that industry if you feel like your intentions might be a little compromising, then I wouldn't recommend. Another industry that is recession proof is the bridal industry. So people are constantly getting married and it's a once in a lifetime event. And so people spend a lot of money on their weddings. This is another industry that people kind of play on the heartstrings of those who are planning an event that's very important to them because a cake could be hundred dollars the moment they find out it's for a wedding suddenly the cake becomes five hundred dollars and it's like how did it fall from jesus like how did it suddenly become 500 when it was 100 dollars when it was a birthday cake it was a hundred dollar birthday cake suddenly it's a bridal cake and it's 500 dollars. like huh what huh i don't understand but they do that on a regular basis flowers could be five hundred dollars the moment it's for a wedding those same flowers are a thousand dollars it's wild but it's a recession proof industry because people are constantly getting married and people are constantly putting a lot of money into their wedding because it is a once in a lifetime event or it's a very important event another industry that is recession proof is staffing services despite there being places like amazon jobs or indeed or workopolis or monster a lot of applications go into companies like that and so 
a lot of people in a position of hiring don't actually have the time to go through all those different resumes and so they're constantly outsourcing their staffing processes and seeking out staffing companies to do this step for them. The next industry that is recession proof is property management. So there are always going to be real estate moguls who live all over the world and are not able to physically manage the properties that they own. And so they're constantly seeking out property managers to take care of the home, to maintain it and put tenants into it. Property management is not an industry that's going anywhere because there's always going to be people who own real estate that don't live in the same country or city as the property that they own. Which brings me to my next industry that is recession proof and that is real estate. That's because regardless of how the market does, people are always going to be buying and or selling their homes. Not only their homes, but commercial properties as well. People are going to be buying to invest. They're going to be putting tenants into their investment properties. They're going to need to buy brick and mortar retail shops. They're going to be buying commercial plaza people are constantly going to be buying and selling real estate so whether you're a real estate investor or you are a real estate agent that is an industry that is recession proof and it's always going to have activity occurring okay so that is it what are some industries that i left out leave them down below i would love to know sharing is caring and we're all sharing the knowledge here once again i really don't want it to seem as though i'm being insensitive to what's going on with covid19 i'm only trying to help and i hope this video helped at least one person if you know a recession proof industry that i didn't mention i would love for you to leave it down below I love you guys so much. Love you to the moon and back. Be true to you. Bye.